The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from USAopoly. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And as you can see by Daughter's shirt, this is not our normal kind of intro. Nope. That's because we're playing a Harry Potter game. So yes. we play a Harry Potter game. She's got plenty of Harry <laughs> Potter shirts. She digs them out. Yep. So today we are playing Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, the Monster Box of Monsters expansion. So that is why I'm wearing my Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them shirt. It's about magical creatures. So we're playing through box one. Yes. Uh, this expansion has four boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, go back. We've got seven videos on that uh, where we play through all seven books in that. Years. Was it years? Well, I think it's called book. Yeah, it's books. Books. Yeah, it's box. books. No, it's books. This years. is box. Anywho, yeah. seven videos. So those will show you how to play the game, and you can get our opinion on mm -hmm. the game overall on that. Uh, this is hard. It says they recommend you play after you play successfully through all seven games. Yeah, this adds things like detentions, which uh, go into your deck and clog it up. It. Uh, what are those the encounters that we have? Pesky, pesky. Yeah, we have some encounters we got to deal yeah. with. And we have some upgraded... Uh, villain creatures mm -hmm. uh, plus new villains too so yeah. uh, let's just get right to it and see if we can be magical First off, let's talk about what is new in this game. Now, we do have new character cards. Megan? Yes. Everyone, this is Looney, Looney. Lovegood. Looney? That's, that's how Hermione introduces her to everyone. Looney Luna? Yes. So this is Luna Lovegood. Her ability is the first time you draw an extra card on your turn, any one hero gains two health. And she gets the same usual Loamora cards. But she also gets these three new ones as well. So the Specter Specs, you gain one influence, and you can reveal the top dark art card and choose or event and choose one. You can either put it back on top of the deck, or you can discard it so you don't have to do that effect. You can do the Crumpled Horn Schnorket, which was her Patronus. So you can either choose to gain one um, Lightning Bolt or two health, and then her Lion Hat, you gain an influence. And if another hero has a broom or Quidditch gear in their hand, that you also gain an extra lightning bolt. And in case you didn't know, Ivana Lynch made the Lion Hat. That was for her, her uh, audition, wasn't it? That was part of it, yeah. But this was for the Lion Hat didn't come into Hoppel Prince. She came in Ori Phoenix. Ah. Uh, see. Okay, I will be playing. Dun dun dun. Ron, Ron Weasley again. I know I played him in I think almost much every uh, every of the games one through seven. Mm -hmm. But this is a new card. Uh, it is just a little bit different. His ability is if you assign three or more lightning and or influence on your turn, all heroes gain one. Now, the reason why we it says assign uh, influence is because we actually have some new villains and villain creatures and we might have to use money instead of fight mm -hmm. but also with our setup we have one new proficiency which obviously is the care of magical creatures so the first time you assign one or more lightning or influence to a creature any one hero gains two health if you defeat a creature you also remove one dark mark from the location which is super helpful and i'm actually going to be the one using that yep which is a little bit different because now I'm going to actually use the Defense Against the Dark Arts proficiency, which you normally get to use. And speaking of using those influence on creatures. Here's our new ones. Yep, here's the only one so far with box one. It's Norbert, he's just a baby. He's so cute, and it's actually Norbert's a girl. Spoilers if you didn't know that, but yeah. So see, you only need six influence because you want to keep Norbert, we like Norbert. I mean, you know, we picked him up in the pub, but you know. But he actually has a nasty ability while he's out there. He does, she. yeah, she, yeah. Sorry. Um, active hero loses one health plus an additional one health for each detention card in your hand. We'll get to the detention in just a second. But just like any defeating any other villain, they have a reward, and they'll be shuffled in with the villain deck. But here are the cool things. So this is the monster box of monsters, so we do have some creatures. Troll in the dungeon. But I you thought you should know. know. And <laughs> so the troll is active hero 
um, chooses one, you can either lose two or you put a detention in your discard pile. Did the, you say detention? Detention, detention. Detention. Whatever. It's no one wants detention. I'm butchering it anyway. And then you know. It's fluffy. Who told you about fluffy? So yeah. For each item in your hand, active hero chooses one. You either lose one health or you discard a card. Mm. So none of these are good. None of these are really good. Cornish pixies. They're annoying. Yeah, uh, Mr. Finnegan. Ugh. Awful. Yeah, for each card in your hand uh, that has an even value, Active Hero is going to lose two health. And that even value is super important. We'll get to that too in just a second. Yeah, but we're going to. Oh, we got one so more. Got more. Uh, I forgot. We've yeah. got an upgrade. So we got an upgrade now because how you're going to set up your villain deck, you're going to take these new creatures and then pick five other random ones that you've used in other games one through seven. You're going to combine those and then put year five Lord Voldemort on the bottom, but you're going to remove the Basilisk and the Dementor cards and upgrade them into these villain creature ones. Yeah. So Axie Fiera loses two health with the Dementor and with the Basilisk, heroes cannot draw extra cards, but you can still draw five new cards at the end of your turn. So we have to replace those, we pick randomly, we shuffle up our new villain deck. So that's a little interesting, but detention, as you can see up by our Hogwarts deck, we have a fairly decent sized deck of detention cards and these are useless you don't want these because they clog up your deck and if you have to discard them you lose two health so that comes into play maybe with if you have to discard because of a dark art or a villain you want to make sure you might not want to lose that one because things happen too if you get below a certain health so these kind of suck yeah they you just can clog banish it. though this game yes so you can banish some detention cards which is kind of helpful and they just go back into the detention deck. Yeah. But these things are new, and they're a pain in the butt. They're kind of like the Horcruxes that we faced in year seven, but these are encounters that are new with this expansion. So you pick your encounters that are based off of what one, which um, villain creatures or creatures you put into the villain deck. So this one, you need the Cornish Pixies, Norbert and the Troll, and then Fluffy. So this one also says box one, so you can know to grab those creatures to put in. Yeah, these have uh, end of turn effects. So if you are, this is still in play at the end of the turn, then bad things happen. But whoever basically defeats that gets the reward for the rest of the game. So like I said, the even one, the end of each turn, if the active hero has four or less health, they only draw four cards instead of five. But if you have two cards with an even influence value on your turn, you can complete it, move on and you're gonna face some different ones as you keep going along, which does kind of follow the story as well, which is kind of cool. Yeah, they're trying to, to add some more theme to this, I mm -hmm. believe. All right, so keeping with the bad, we have some new uh, Dark Arts event cards. Yep. Yeah, these and are not good And you can tell too, there's the new little expansion icon on the bottom. But, so we have Blast Ended, previous hero loses one health and discards a card. Inquisitional Squad, so Active Hero puts a detention in their hand and then all heroes lose a health for each detention card you already have in your hand. Um, Sluggish Erecto, ugh. Um, all heroes lose one health for each creature. That's why you can't just use spell tape to fix your wand. Like, I mean, you know, you gotta slugs, get, Malfoy. get that fixed, come on. And then Menacing Growl. It's fluffy. All heroes lose a health for each card in hand with a value of exactly three in One for each head. Yes. And then Raging Troll in the Lou. The next hero loses two health, and you add one dark mark to the location. And we got those. We'll shuffle into our already pretty large deck of dark art cards. We're just going to add all of those in. But we do have to have some good things. You do have to have some good things. So with Fluffy, you have to have a way to calm him down, obviously, so you can get to that big trap door that's under him. So you're going to need a harp. So the harp is a new Hogwarts card. and once you get it, you can gain a lightning bolt, and you can choose a creature, and that creature's ability does not trigger until the start of your next turn. Way to remember that. We have this cool little harp token, so you can just put that on the creature or villain, or yeah, the creature, and you don't have to worry about that effect. So it's just kind of a reminder, don't worry about that for that turn. And then we have two new spells. So we have Finite Incantatum. So you remove one dark mark from the location. And then if this is in your hand, you only reveal one dark art event on your turn. So that's pretty handy. That's pretty good too. And then Trago, which is a cleaning spell. So you gain one influence and you can banish a card in your hand. And if it's an item, draw a card. So you clean out your deck. And that's a good way to get rid of those detentions. Yeah, definitely. But we do need a place to go. So we have three new location cards. 
to move our story along. So we have the Castle Gates, Haggard's Hut, and Great Hall with Professor Coral and his famous line. Yep. Got trolls in the dungeon on Halloween. So, that is that. We will get everything shuffled up and we will get ready to play. Alright, so our Hogwarts cards here. We have a new ally, Argus Filch and Mrs. Norris in this expansion. We've got the Sorting Hat, Seamus Finnegan. <laughs> we get both Tragos out there. Yeah, um, Cho Chang and then Tragos. Alright, so the starting villains we have is Norbert, the Mentor, and the Basilisk. Yep. Alright, so first card. Regeneration. Remove two lightning bolts from all villains. Well, well that's a good time to get that one. Yeah, really. So, um, I'm going to lose two health, though, from the Dementor. I can't draw because of the Basilisk. But you're going to feel good about it. I'm going to suffer, but you got to be happy about it. Um, and then Norbert. What do I do with Norbert? Norbert, you, uh, active hero, is going to lose one, and then plus, uh, plus an additional one if you have a, for each detention Don't you have in your hand. Don't have one of those yet. No, I haven't got detentions. All right, in your hand, do you happen to have a broom? I have a broom. Have I a broom. have the clean sweep. Nice. So with the lion hat, I'll go ahead and gain the one influence. But since you have the broom, I also get a lightning bolt. Um, the crumpled horn shrunk it. Uh, choose one, gain a bolt or gain two health. Might as well take the bolt at the moment, not suffering too badly. Um, Spectre specs, gain an influence. And if I can reveal the dark art card, it's Dementor's Kiss. Uh, actor here's gonna lose two. That would be you. Uh, I'd lose one. Yeah, let's not do that one. Wanna not do it? Yeah, burn maybe, it? Yeah, burn All it. Right. And then two level more, so two more influence. So got two lightning bolts, Dementor or Basilisk? Um, I say Dementor. Dementor. Um, and, and then, then I have Norbert. Yeah, I'll go ahead and drop four there. All right. And that would be that. All right, my dark art card is active here loses one and discards a card. So uh, that's not bad. I'll go ahead and lose an Alola Mora. Um, I have to. Norbert is going to make me lose one, and, and I don't Dementor. have the dimensions. Dimensions. Detentions. Dimensions. Yeah. I, I will lose dimensions. two for the Dementor. 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 Uh, okay. So I'm gonna have Pidgewidgeon. I will take a lightning bolt. Still should have been arrow. I don't know why we gave Ron Jenny's owl. Yeah. Clean sweep. I will gain another lightning bolt. I'm always gonna like find something to complain about this. And two. Um, Influence, which I'll go ahead and I'm going to assign those to Norbert, Six. and I'm going to assign the two lightning bolts to the Dementor. What does your proficiency do, by the way? Uh, my proficiency says uh, the first uh, the first time I assign one or more lightning bolts or money to a creature, one hero gains two health. If I defeat a creature, also remove one uh, from the location. Which we don't have to worry about, but you are going to technically defeat Norbert. So, uh, since I did assign one. Uh, anyone here can gain two health. Would you like to gain two health? Yeah, sure. Well, you're lower than me, actually. Yeah, well, I I'm hoping goodness. you're going to take the Dementor out. Oh, but we did, we freed Norbert. We bought Norbert, basically. We did. That's what that means. And our reward is all heroes may banish a card from their hand or their discard pile. I'll get rid of it. Now, them. I don't really have a hand or a discard uh, anymore, so I will not do anything yeah. with that. And we have halfway through killing the Dementor. You're very optimistic about it. So our new that. villain is Barty Crouch <gasps> Jr. He's my favorite. Yeah, death heroes eater. cannot remove dark art or dark marks from the location. <sighs> He's still my luck, too. And because I uh, have more than four or more, I don't have to worry about yep. the pesky pixie poopers. I don't think that's how the spell goes, but knowing lock art could have. Um Educational decree for each card with a value of four or more influence in hand, active hero loses a health. I I've bought got anything yet. All my starters, really. which I can actually buy because I can't do anything. Actually, else. you didn't buy anything because you put them all in order. Yep. Uh, I'm losing two health though from the Dementor and can't draw and five influence. So, what would I like to buy? I've got. I could do. Seamus and Terrego, that would give me two. I could put two Teregos, but it'd be nice if you had one. I know we're gonna need dice coming up for the next encounter. I'm playing this previously. So that's a good thing to kind of have. Which, by the way, we did not win. We oh, lost horribly. Jeez, it was rough. Um, with Filch and Mrs. Norris, you draw two cards and you can choose to either 
discard any one card or banish a card in your hand. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to do... I'm going to do Terrago and Oh, that, and that's a new one, too. That's a new one, yeah. I pointed that out. So there's my five. No wonder I hadn't really seen it. Xenophilius, which is a promo for this expansion. And Reducto, which was a promo for this expansion. Um, so all heroes can gain a bolt or an influence with Xenophilius. Um, Reducto, you can banish a card in your hand. If you banish an item, we all gain a health. You banish an ally, we all gain a lightning bolt. And if you banish a spell, we all gain an influence. And I'm higher than four health, so I don't have to worry about the piss pesty pixies. That's a tongue twister. All right, my first dark arts card is Imperio. Active hero chooses another. I choose yeah. you. Lose two health. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, You're gonna lose two more health though from the Dementor. I gotta do that first. Yeah. Yep. Puts me down to four. I'm at five. That's not good. You um, can't heal. No. Uh, I'm going to gain one with my Birdie Bolts, being an influence it is, and I will have I have four Aloha Moras, so that's another four influence. I actually have five influence now. You can buy some stuff. Uh, I'll buy stuff. You can buy everything but Xenophilius. Reducto's pretty good. Trago's not bad. Nice and Reducto. That one's a good one. Banish a card in your hand if you banish an item. That if you banish an ally, do that. If you banish a spell, gain a money. I'm not really wild about that. Filch um, isn't bad. Trago still lets you discard. Or banish. What's a sorting hat there? Sorting hat, you gain two influence. You can put allies you acquire on the top of your deck instead of in your discard. And show get you the Ravenclaw die. Which we're gonna need. need yeah, dice. I'm gonna go, I'll buy. I'll buy. Right, that sounds bad. You're I will acquire. I will acquire. Wow, that sounds bad too. So she's gonna join. <laughs> she's gonna join Ron. Yeah. There you go. All right. So because I have four or less, I can only have four cards in my hand. Yeah, so yeah. I only, well, I only do four cards in this. Yeah. As you, on yeah, me. That's you. Uh, all heroes choose one. Discard an ally or lose two health. I don't have an ally. Uh, I have Pidgewidgeon. And Dementor is going to make me lose two. Oh, not one health. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. You got a broom. I have a broom. Cool, thanks. I'll take a bolt from that. And an influence. And I have four more little mores. So, five of that. One against ten. Not happy enough memory. Um, I think I will get. I know we don't have any house elves, or the sack's not going to do us really any good. Trago's not bad, but then I'd be fizzling. I feel like I'm wasting money. I mean, yeah. Five. I mean, I could get Reducto. Or what's the sorting hat do? Gain two, and if you acquire allies, they go on top of your deck instead of your discard. Yeah, well, gain two money is not bad. Yeah. I just don't know that we'll be going to be banning. I mean, you're probably only going to be banishing spells, like you your starter spells. Cards. Well, that's true. Those are items. And They're what do you items. Get uh, items you gain health. Yeah. It's not bad. I that's think not I'll bad. Just go ahead and buy it for five. And chocolate frogs. They're pretty yummy. All right. Uh, Havada Kedavra. Oh. Active hero loses oh, three. And if this stuns a hero, add one to the location. Uh, three, one, two, three. That does not stun me. But you are um, going to be stunned. But I have to reveal an additional card. Dementor's going to stun uh, you. Active hero loses two, which will stun me. And Dementor would stun you anyway. Yeah, well, the good thing is, is I'm not taking any more from that Dementor. But True. I do have to discard down half. Ooh, um, yeah. So I will just discard yeah. a little more, which leaves me with my clean sweep. Which gives me a lightning bolt and my low mora, which gives me one that. You want to buy a sock? I uh, sure give me a sock. <laughs> it's one. I feel like I bought something. Yeah. And then I'll assign that lightning bolt to the open Ooh, there. Ooh, Triwizard Cup. That's a good one. But I don't have the money. Uh, so. now I will go back to money. my ten health and I'll draw my five cards. Okay, and roll the Slytherin die. It is an influence, so add one to the location. Oh. Uh. I'm losing two health from the Dementor, and guess what? Stunned. So we'll add another one. Great. Um, okay. So I got Seamus Finnegan. So gain two influence, or all heroes gain health, which I'm Don't. stunned. You're not. Yeah, so. you can't gain health, so you might as well get the influence. Two. Spectre Specs, I gain one, and I can look at the top. 
all heroes reveal top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card with a value of one or more influence discard it and lose two. That's if no. that's the next card. Dude, you oh. have to do it right now. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to yes, discard I want that it? One. You want you want it? Okay. Yeah, because that's not gonna affect me. She already cheated here. <laughs> um, and I can't do it. Pay no attention to me looking at that card. <laughs> um, chocolate frog. Any one hero gains an influence and a health if you discard it. You gain influence and health. You can help heal. I'll take it. Physical one. And another Tariko. Alrighty, so I have... Oh, hey, guess what? Hey. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card with a value of one or more uh, influence, discard it, and lose two. Um, yeah, that's a starter, so I All heroes nothing. gotta do that? Yeah, all heroes. Okay, wait a second. Two, three, four, five. Eh, poop. So you have yeah. to discard it and lose two health. Dang it. Um, but if I discard a card... From a dark guard or villain, um, I gain a health and a bolt. Yeah, so pretty good proficiency. Not bad. All right, so that was my uh, one there. I have to lose two for the Dementor because he pees to me. Gross. Um, I'm gonna play Cho, and it says I get to draw three cards, then discard any two cards, which I will have to shuffle my discard because I only have two cards in my draw dial or draw deck. So one, two, three. So draw three cards and then discard any two. Well, guess what? They're all Hello <laughs> Morris. So, easy. Yeah, I'm cycling my deck. And then I get to roll the uh, Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. It's a card. We all draw a card. But hey. we can't because of the Basilisk. Ah, uh, bummer. Okay. We got to get him out next So Cho did nothing, but I have Birdie Bots. That's Birdie awesome. Bots says I gain one influence, but for every ally I play this turn, I gain a Lightning Bolt. Cho. Cho is an ally. Well, yeah, that's what I just yeah, said. Yeah. And then yeah. I have three Aloha Moras. So you got, what, four? I have four. You can buy some stuff. Oh, I can buy stuff and it goes stuff. ding. Because um, ding there's stuff. As Bertie Crouch would say later in his life. Got hauled off to ask a man so he could uh, turn into the doctor. Well, two cards and choose one. Just card any one card to banish a card in your hand. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take Filch. Because I've, I've not had Filch, so I'm going to take Filch. And then I got a Lightning Bolt. I will sign it to Dementor. We only need one more to kill him. Ooh, guess what I can do if I don't get screwed over here by the Dark Art card. Oh, Dementor's Kiss. Active Hero loses two. You lose one. I'm going to lose four total. Jeez. Gross. I didn't ask for that kiss. Ugh. Um, you got your hand? Yes. Get broom. I have a broom. Aha, thank you for that broom. I can definitely take care of that Dementor. I'm going to heal for two with the help of Corn. Horn Schmorket. Oh, that's a mouthful. Yeah. Uh, Seamus. Um, all heroes can gain a health or I can gain two influence. You can you have know. the influence because you can buy stuff. Yeah, I can buy stuff. Okay. I was just making sure we're good on health. Um, Trego, I can banish a card in my hand. Um, if it's item, I can draw a card. I don't have the tension, which kind of sucks. Uh, and I can't draw cards anyway, so I'll go ahead and take the influence from that. And an influence from a little so more. So you didn't banish anything? I didn't banish anything, no. But, yeah. Because I can't draw a card. So. Oh, are those over there banished cards? These are banished cards. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. So I have two bolts. One there. Ugh, Basilisk or Barty. I said, you can't well, remove Barty. Well, we can't remove anything from there. But yeah, let's go for the Basilisk. Okay. Let's see what our reward, reward is for remove. the... Uh, all heroes gain two health. Cool. Yay. Uh, remove one from the location. However, we got Barty. So Barty prevents us from removing one. Thanks, from Artemius. Appreciate Artemius. it. <laughs> um, it's like funnier once you realize that it's actually him. Uh, five. Ooh, I'm getting the Travers a cup. I can't pass that up. All right. It's Porky. Our next villain is Peter Pettigrew. Like how the minister says it. Peter Pettigrew. Like yeah, he. Uh, the active hero reveals the top card of their deck. If it's a value one or more, you get to discard it, and we add one to the location. Not good. I'm going to take him out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so my first card is active hero loses one and discards a card. Mm. Not good. Sucks. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of... Um, actually, no, it, it's the same either way. I'm going to get rid of that sock. That's fine. All right. Here so, Pidgewidgeon is I gain a bolt or gain two health. I'll gain the bolt. My clean sweep, I will gain the bolt. There you go. And I have two Alomora, so I'll gain two influence. 
So I have two bolts. I'm going to put those on, uh, which I didn't do, actually, Peter Pettigrew's thing. Oh, oof. Which I would have had to shuffle, shuffle. my deck anyway. Let's see. I'll, yeah, that one. Take that one out. Yeah. Um, are you going to assign those bolts, though, to the basilisk? Well, I was actually thinking about assigning them to Peter Pettigrew. Pettigrew. Okay. So here's the Peter Pettigrew card, which was Cho, and it says... Uh, Value one or more. Yeah, I get to discard it and add one to the location. Oh, thanks, Cho. So, I'll put that there. Do you want to get Pettigrew out, then? He's hurting us. Yeah. And I'm banishing my starters. So, so yeah. let's get rid of... Let's put two on there, and then I have two to buy... Yeah, I can buy a spell. Drago. Yeah, I'll buy that. There you go. Cool. And you have more than four health, so you're doing good. All heroes choose to either discard a spell or lose two health. I'll discard a little more. Discard a little more. And um, I discard a card, so I will gain a health and a bolt from my proficiency. Um, Reveal the top card. Uh, you got to discard it, and we add one to the location. Try which color. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's going to take us to the next location. It made me discard a card, and it's each time. Is it each time? It's each time. Right. So I would get another health, but I'm a max, but I get another bolt. I'm not going to complain there. Um. All right. Reducto. You can banish a card in your hand. I will banish in the level more. It is a spell, so all heroes gain an influence because of that. Um, Spectre Specs gain an influence, and all heroes lose one health for each card in hand with a value of exactly three. I'm good with You're that good. one. good. Yeah. It's all heroes. I haven't really bought them up. It's fine. I'll take it. Um, and then I gain another influence. So I've got two for Peter Pettigrew. Ugh. Three. I kind of honestly want you to get the Quidditch gear so I can keep using Luna's hat because it's yeah. another player. So I'll just take Turego and fizzle the one. Okay. Ooh, it's Remus. All right. My so we know we teacher. have Fluffy here. Uh, all heroes are going to lose one for each card in hand with a value of exactly three influence, which I have none. I got Seamus. So you're going to lose. I'm a losing hell. a hell. Ugh, dang it. That's okay. I don't have the discard one. Um, I have to reveal the top card for Peter Pettigrew. It is a starter card, so... That's nice. Yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. We should have went on to the next... Oh, we should have. ...thing, yeah. Which means i got to draw another one of these. Uh, all heroes lose one for each creature. One health. One health for each creature. Well, there's only one creature. Yeah. It's so not bad. Lose one health. It's not terrible. Sorry. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to play Filch. Filch says draw two cards, then choose one, discard one card, or banish a card in my hand. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm going to take that card. Except I can't. You can't take it. I can't even draw the two cards. I should not have even drawn the cards for Cho mm -hmm. earlier. So, That's a, it's there, there's, a, there's a little little snafu there. That's okay. Uh, these things do happen. So I have Birdie Bots. I will gain one. Uh, influence and for every ally played, I gain a bolt. Which uh, actually, uh, Filch and Mrs. Norris should count as two allies, but unfortunately, it does not say that. So and then I have two little mores. So I'm going to assign a bolt to Peter Pettigrew. He needs two to kill him, and I have four monies. So I'm going to buy that. Qu oh, but oh, Remus. So. Remus is good though. Yeah, I think I need that. Remus is the best. Yeah, I gotta take, gotta take Remus. Remus. Alrighty. So, You're gone too, remember? Oh crap, I am. Active hero puts a detention in their hand, and then all heroes lose a health for each detention in their hand. I don't have a detention. This goes in my hand. Though. Yeah, so you're gonna. But lose I can't health. draw extra cards. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not technically. <laughs> you're being given that. You're not drawing it. I'm losing. I'm losing one health for that. That's crap. I didn't ask for that. With the Shimmel Squad. Raging Troll, the next hero, loses two health. That's me. And we add one to the location. And um, with Pettigrew, the starter card. This is my hat. So it's okay. Alrighty, detention. Get rid of that. Actually, ha ha. Ha ha. 
I have Turego in my hand, so I can gain an influence, and I can banish a card in my hand. If it's an item, I can draw a card. I can't draw a card, but I can banish it, so. Your detention, yeah. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Um, a crumpled horn snack, I can gain a health, or gain two health, or a bolt. I'm gonna take a bolt. You know, uh, Marvel Legendary is one of my favorite games, and this r reminds me of the wounds in that. You do, yeah. And with Wolverine, he, I think, I think it's Wolverine, allows you to get rid of wounds and get He's on strength. the wound card anyway, so. Um, any one hero can gain an influence and a health. Go for it. You're low to me. So I gain influence, influence and, and health. health. Yep. I gain influence from a little more. Um, and I could buy, I could, I could buy something. So I'll take the two from Shamish. There's six. Can get one God, no, I don't have anything. I know, it sucks. Um, so I have four monies. I'll buy the sorting hat. Oh, actually, no, I'll buy Butterbeer and Fizzle because Butterbeer can heal. Okay. Alrighty. So, I my first one is Active Hero loses one, and we add one to the location. Mm. This is not good. My second oh, one is, is Petrification. All heroes lose one and cannot draw extra cards this turn, which we couldn't anyway. And my Peter Pettigrew card is Pidwigeon. So, nothing there, which is good. I will play. Uh, Cho, but I can't draw any cards as I remembered. But I could yes. do, do this, and I get influence. Uh, influence. I have a sock, yes. which I will gain an influence. And I don't have any. Free house the house elves. elves. Free them. Let's but bring Spew back. I have three uh, little moras. So I actually have six to buy. Mm. What's the uh, old love good do? Uh, all heroes gain a bolt and influence. Um, if you buy Expelliarmus, though, you, you know can what? Gain two bolts and draw a card. I'm gonna buy him. So you know? Because uh, he's another ally and he goes with my birdie bots. All right. Um. Yeah, I did everything. Did no bolts. I had no bolts. All right, I've got a bolt. Hopefully, hopefully I've got a bolt. Active hero loses two health. Crap. Second card. Add one to the location. And my pedigree card. Gonna add another one to the location. You discard it, right? It, yeah. yep. Alright, try wizard cup. Gain a bolt. Gain a monies. Gain a health. Blow more. Gain influence. Gain another bolt. The crumpled horn snack. Seamus. I'll gain two more monies. Do you have a broom in your hand? Four for four. I always have that broom, it seems like, whenever Glad, you need that. Thank you. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, I have one for Pettigrew. Ah, uh, Party. Or Basilos. I, I, we got to get rid of him because I know. we can't get anything off of the do. thing. All right. Pettigrew. Oh, go ahead and buy. I've got five. Oh yeah, but how are the history? Because that gives you dice. So. Alright, so it says our reward is we get to remove one from the location, Woo. which we can't because of Barty Crouch. Uh, but all heroes may search their discard uh, pile for a spell and put it in their hand. So. Cool. Which is only a little more. The biggie. Our new villain is. Fluffy. For each item in hand, active hero chooses one. Either lose a card or discard a card. So, Wait, what? For each? For each item in your item. hand. Item, okay. Yeah. All right, so card number one. Hand and glory. Active hero loses one, and we add one to location. Not good. Second one is a relatio. All heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. I don't have an item. Uh, I do have an item. I have chocolate frog. Lose that uh, we need also need to keep in mind. I just checked. I have a lot of odds, but if we have evens for the encounter, yeah, I haven't had enough come up. Um, but we need to keep that in mind. Lose two health. I think we've bought some now that are evens. Because my chocolate frog was an even. So I'm yeah. going to discard this item because uh, Fluffy then says for each item in the hand, they could lose one or discard a card. So I don't uh, have an item in my hand anymore. I will play Pitchwidgeon and I will gain a bolt. And then I have four Aloha Moras. So uh, I will assign that bolt to Barty Crouch Jr. And with four, I think I will buy that Quidditch gear. Yes, please. 
Although, yeah. Yeah, we, it helps. Sure. It helps out, though. Alrighty, card number one. The previous hero loses a health and discards a card. Oh, I'm only drawing four cards, too. Yeah, you are. So. And I gotta discard another card? Yep. Yeah. And then card number two. Right, All card. heroes lose a health for each card in hand with a value of exactly three from Fluffy. I don't have that. So. I don't either. Cool. So, um, for each item? Uh, for each item in your don't hand. don't have any items. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to banish with Reducto and Alara Mora. So we all gain influence. I have two Dragos. I'm not banishing any there. Only puts me in three. I can buy you. Yeah. Alright, I will go ahead and buy Lingardium Leviosa. This is the one. Leviosa. It's Leviosa. Levio Alright, my first is Morse More Day. All heroes lose one and we add one to the location. Which is our last one. Um, <laughs> second card is Petrification. All heroes lose one and cannot draw extra cards this time, which doesn't. Puts me down to one health. You're gonna suffer, um, but you're gonna be happy about it. Uh, for each That's item in hand for fluff or er, yeah, for fluffy, lose one oh, or discard crap. a card. Crap. Uh, I will just drew a handful of items. Discard that card. <laughs> so I will play... Um, I should have actually only drawn one. I'll play one. Filch, which does not let me draw any cards. And then I will play uh, Birdie Bots, which says I gain one of these. And I gain, since I played an ally, and a, a bolt. Put the bolt on Birdie Crouch. I've got two monies, which... Ditney. Oh, yes, but please buy some Ditney. And I'm only drawing four because... This is going to hurt. We got a new location, too. Oh, yeah. I'm so stunned. You're so I'm stunned. I'm so stunned, yeah. Yep. Now you're drawing three because we are in the green Great. Right. Here we go. What's more All heroes lose one. And Add that, one to the location. That stuns me, so... That's one another one. one. Fiendfire. All heroes lose three. That's going to officially stun me. Add another one. Yep. Card number three. Active Hero loses one and draw an additional card. Active Hero loses three if that stunned you. I'm already stunned. And reveal an additional dark art. Active Hero loses a health and cannot assign more than one bolt to a turn. Alright, well, you have to discard down because you're stunned. I'm only drawing four cards, but I'm going to be discarding two of them. This is crap, man. Um, we can't heal because we're both stunned, so uh, get rid of that one. Okay. Let's just get rid of these two. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, get rid of those two. Oh. Yeah. You good? I'm gonna go back up. Okay. Gain. Would you? Yeah, okay. Uh, gain influence from Lua Mora. Spectre Specs. Gain influence. Reveal top card. And. You would lose a health and then draw an additional card. Would you like to burn it? Because you'd be drawing four cards then, potentially. So what now? You reveal an additional dark card event after this one. This would be your first card. Do you want to burn it so you don't have to draw more cards? Yeah. Okay. And two influence, which doesn't give me anything. <sighs> I'm not liking this. All right, so my first card kind of saved me because I had like three items in my hand. That's Lucky okay. Record. You're going to lose two because of Imperio. And reveal another one. Jeez. It's my, this is still that one. All yep. heroes lose two and cannot gain health this turn. Oh, crap. So that was my first. Yep. So here's my second. Is add one to the location. Cool. My third is active hero loses two. Uh, items. For item. I do have an item. You're going to lose two. And discard. Uh, or lose, lose one, one. Sorry. I'm going to lose one. I don't I have to discard. It's or, or I lose one or discard card. Gotcha. Card. We're already low because yeah, you got stunned. Yeah. So I'm going to play uh, Re Remus. Uh, yeah, Lupin. I'm going to gain one. I have one of my Grimus over there. I'm going to gain here. And any one hero gains three. So three health? Three health. Take it. Um, that puts me uh, in. Or do you need it? You might need just it. Just for next turn, yeah. And then uh. Birdie Bots, I gain one influence. And because I played an ally, I gain one lightning bolt. That puts 
two more on Barty Crouch. There's one more. And so I have Hopefully one. There's nothing I can buy for one, so. Oh, the sock. The sock is a lonely one. I already one. have the sock. No. Uh, but I'm able to draw five cards now. Yeah. All right, first card. For each card with a value of four or more in your hand, active, uh, active here loses one. I have one, two. So I'm losing two health for that. Um, second card, active hero puts a detention in their hand. Do you have a detention in your hand? Nope. Well, that's going to make me lose one. And card number three, all heroes lose a health and add one to the location. And then with Fluffy, I have one, two, three items. That's for each one. Lose one or, or for each item, yes. If I discard a card, it's my detention. Yes. And you get Bolt. What? Your defense against the dark arts. If you discard, I'm still losing two health if I discard this, though. Well, I would be. Yeah, I would get a bolt and I would gain a health back, so only losing one health then. Gaining a bolt, I will then discard those two as well because those aren't going to help me. Okay. Um. Try wizard cup. Gain a bolt. Gain an influence. Gain a health. Seamus, I'm just I'm gonna take the health. Everyone gains a health from Seamus. Hogwarts history. Got a bolt. Alright, so we got a bolt, so all heroes gain a bolt. So I have three though. I'm sorry, David. But I'm not, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I am sorry. But so that's that. And one influence, which is gonna get me nothing, but Bye-bye, David. All right, so we get to remove two from the location. Though, Ooh, that's a little which bit does help. helpful. And our new dude is Fenner Grayback. Uh, heroes cannot gain health. Oh, crap. You know, it's honestly not bad not being able to disc or draw cards when these guys keep coming up. All right, my first card is more S'more Day. How many of these have we got? That's a lot. Uh, all heroes lose a health, and we add one to the location. That was my first card. Second card is Avada Kedavra. I'm going to lose three, and that takes me down to one, and reveal an additional card, so I'm still on my second one. Air of Slytherin. I'm going to roll the Slytherin die. Oops. Yeah, that's the yeah, Slytherin die. die. And that means all heroes lose a health, which yes. stuns me, which add a location, and I have to one, two, three. I have to get rid of half of my cards. Do you have and, items? Yes. Because of Fluffy. Yeah, but that's okay. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of those for being oh, stunned. Oh, you're stunned. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter because you could save the least. And then my, I think this is my last one. Second Sempra, all heroes lose two and cannot dr gain health this turn, which we couldn't anyway. So that doesn't really hurt. Oh, that's great. Cool. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, Pidgewidgeon, I'm going to gain a bolt. I want to keep pulling from there. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Fluffy, yeah, because I have an item, which is that I have to discard. Okay, so I'm going to lose this, and then I'm going to play my clean sweep, so I will get another, so I have three. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the bass, let's put those all three on there, so he only needs two more. And that is my turn, I will get back to ten health. I'm going to get stunned, but okay. Add one to the location for card number one. Uh oh, that's um, the last one. All heroes reveal top card on your deck. If it's a spell, we discard it and lose two health, which would stun me. I had to discard a card though, so I technically only lost one health, so I gained a bolt, so I'm not technically stunned yet. Just play it out. Um, active hero chooses another hero to lose two health, and then draw another card. Um, active hero loses one health. That stuns me now, so add another one. Draw Which you can't because we're already at the end. Active hero, or the next hero loses two health, and you add another one to the location. So Yeah, yeah they're all on there. Yeah. Well, do you have a way of taking any off of there? No. Nope. Yeah. yeah. So that will end the game. So I guess Voldemort gets the trophy again. Ugh. Getting quite the uh, trophy collection. 
Because he got uh, one when we played through. He's just going to make them hard passes at this point. I mean, you think? Probably. Well, I guess he is because he's just a mean <sighs> dude. He should, yeah. who should not be named. All right, so now let's get to what we think. All right, Megan, your game, you go first. Sucks. <laughs> no, I love it, though. It definitely does amp up the game so much, but I think we've also just got really unlucky with some of the cards that have came up. But this is super hard. Well, this makes it so, I mean, the decisions on which villain to go for or the creature, villain creature. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've got Barty Crouch, so you can't take any uh, mm -hmm. dark marks off of there. you got the Basilisk, can't so you're not drawing any cards. Can't heal. Yeah. yeah, discard all the time. It's it's rough, but I still love this game. So like, you are gonna suffer. You're gonna be happy about it. Well, and just think what it's gonna be like when we finally do beat oh, it's it. It's gonna be so good. I mean, it'll be great, but it does kind of suck. Yeah, it, it's... that doesn't change my opinion of the game at all, though. I like that it does make it harder, and it does say you know they recommend you play it after you complete game seven. We still had four more before we got the old boulder. Oh, I don't even think we would have made it very far. We never dealt with the encounters. I also don't think we were thinking about it though sometimes because we were just concerned about trying to live which it might have helped a little bit but so let's talk a, talk about how we feel about the new things that were added. Um, it's hard! These, like you said, these kind of replace the horcruxes that we yeah. had. Um, it's a whole nother added element you gotta worry about too. Yeah, that does, that hurts uh, having that there. Um, the new spells you know, this uh, Trego it or helps Trigio. and it hurts because the problem is, you know, you're banishing all those starter cards, but then when it's like, oh, hey, if you have a card that's higher than one, you're going to have to do bad stuff. So it's a catch-22 there. And I never did really get to, to do my ability much, although I did keep kind of forgetting because every I time I was I kept trying applying, to remind you. I yeah. do like the defense against starters proficiency, and it's like really my first couple times playing with that since you normally take it. Yeah, so before you flame me, I do know I forgot to do. do that quite a bit. We so probably I don't... honestly forgot the encounter sometimes, too. We probably did play two with evens. But a lot um, of them are fives and threes. I actually don't think I did because I had so many of my starters that... Uh, I had a couple twos, well, but I don't think they ever came up together. Here's what happened. I had I was discarding, yeah. so I was only having one of those in my hand. But I also didn't get to buy a lot, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, the, it's rough. the new villains, um, they're tough. I do like the fact that they have kind of upgraded the Basilisk and the Dementor. And the Dementor. The, I think the text is really the same. They just kind of give you that uh, villain creature The coloring's uh, thing. just a little bit different. Or this one's a little well, bit darker. Just, I mean, so you, when you sort through them, you kind of can tell. Like you you can. The so let's see. that. So that is kind of a negative because it's... It's very noticeable. No, I'm not but sure I think they did that on purpose, though, for these. Well, where this it one's could be. Darker. But uh, you can I, see. I mean, yes, you can tell even in their oh, there's Hogwarts a, staff. There's one. There's a difference in all of them. Yeah. Which is kind of a negative, but at the same time, you also can't really remember which one's which. But. Well, there's so many cards. Yeah. So, that I mean, you're that's just not, not going to know. It's not a big deal, but, you know. Yeah. Um,. Like I said, the, this has ramped up the difficulty quite mm -hmm. a bit. I do like the addition of the uh, the detentions because, like I said, that does remind me of the wounds in Marvel Legendary. So yes. it's something to clog your deck. And the fact that you can banish them and with uh, that one card mm -hmm. that you had, you were able to, to get, uh, reducto. no, the Reducto, where you're actually getting get a benefit from it. From it. Yeah, I mean, you did with Turego. You get to draw a card. I just can never do that because we have the Basilisk. So, I mean... It was slightly beneficial if we got rid of him, but we couldn't. Um, and I was saying when we were playing it the first couple times, I was like, you know, when we were boxing up, I was like, man, I would like some new dividers because I'd like one for Luna. <laughs> and then I spoiled myself accidentally um, because I saw at the bottom it said, um, like, box six or game six. I was like, what is this? And I picked up all the boxes. I found this huge stack of different dividers. I'm not going to show you all of them because I did spoil myself a little. I'm not going to spoil you guys if you haven't caught up. But there is one for detention cards, Luna gets one, the encounter cards, new creature cards, and there's actually now a divider for the Horcrux cards. And then that was what was sitting underneath. So up to game six. So I'm not going to show you what all is underneath there. But So definitely look in the bottom of the box. 
You'll get well, some dividers. Well, and you can show them once we get uh, all of them. Yeah. get past that. Because as you're following along with us, you're going to find out all the new stuff. So that's a spoiler mm -hmm. in itself. But no, I don't think any of our opinion of the game change other than, like I said, this new expansion adds uh, a lot more difficulty to it. So with that being said, should people go out and get this if they like the original? Yes, because I do think if you're a diehard Harry Potter fan, you are looking to continue amping it up after game seven, which even that is pretty hard on itself. I do think you should get this. If nothing else, you get some new cards. Maybe you can even mitigate how you kind of want to play it. Um, you maybe might not want to add the creatures in. You might just want some new Hogwarts cards if you, for some reason, get through all of those. Because um, we probably still haven't even played with every single one in this deck. But I think there's some really good new things. It does make it a lot difficult. But I do like this expansion so far. We just got to beat box one so we can get to box two and see what else we get. Yep. So we're going to have to play this one a little bit more before we advance. Now, we didn't mention this in our opening, but what is the significance of us publishing on this particular this particular time of the year? It is July 31st when this video will go out. And that means it is Harry Potter's birthday. It is also J.K. Rowling's birthday. Yeah. So it's a dual birthday and belated birthday to Neville Longbottoms, which was yesterday on the 30th. Ah. Because the prophecy never specified Neville could have been the boy, the chosen one. <laughs> But I am the chosen one. I am one. the chosen one. But yeah. So, definitely a cool way to celebrate. Gets us ramped up, excited to go back to Hogwarts on September 1st. So, keep that date in mind as well. And hopefully we can get to box two by then as well. Yep. All right. So, that is Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle Monster, Monster Box of Monsters. Monsters expansion. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.